everyone welcome back to my channel has anyone noticed that I always do this in an intro what is this <laughs> anyway so um today we're gonna be doing another what will fit video um and it's H&M <laughs> um so firstly I got, if you didn't know, H&M has a plus size range. In Melbourne, it's only at a couple of stores. Um, so I went to one of the ones that had plus size stuff. So I got two items from the plus size range just to kind of show you guys what the fit's like. But if you want me to do a full H&M plus size haul, let me know. Um, and then I got also like some straight size pieces. I have no idea what's going on with my hair today. Let's just ignore that. Okay, thanks. Um, and yeah, so we'll start off with this because my hair's driving me insane. Um, I got a headband because my fringe, I'm trying to grow it out and it's so long and it's annoying me. So I brought a headband. I don't really care if it looks ugly or cute. I don't really care. It works. It was ten dollars, so I was like, whatever. Um, what should we start off with? Maybe we'll start with the plus size stuff because I've only got two things. So, at the store I went to, um, they had heaps of sale racks for some reason. Um, yeah, I've never seen so many sales, but I was looking through and then I saw this. And I was like, oh, and it's on sale. And then I checked the price and it was $5. $5. $5 from $34.99. I was like, well, you're coming home with me. So um, I got it in a size 22 and it is this like shirt dress. So it's probably going to be a bit long on me, but who knows? We'll see what happens because I'm short. But it's like this um, black with white and green stripes. And I thought, you know what? For $5, if I don't wear this as a dress, I will find some way to wear it. Whether it's as like a coat, just like an overcoat or, you know, tie it up and I'll wear it as like a basic shirt. Um, but I made five bucks. Also, I'll try and link as much as I can in the description, just if you guys wanted to check this stuff out. Um, yeah, it's always in the description. Also, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, you know the drill. Um, okay, let's try this on. Okay. Now, <laughs> firstly, do you know what's annoying me a little bit is the fact that this collar isn't a collar. It's like one of those like no collar shirts. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, and this is what it looks like. At the moment, it looks so bad. I feel like it definitely needs a belt. Let me go grab a belt. So let's see what it looks like with a belt. This belt's just from Boohoo, if you wanted to know. Um, see, that looks alright. I actually don't mind it. With a belt, though, obviously. Like, it's pretty cute. And, like, I think that this, it's very light. You know what I mean? So, I think in summer, you know, with some sandals, probably roll up the sleeves. Also, one other thing. This is in a 22, right? And... It fits awesome everywhere, which I didn't think. Normally I have problems here, especially with stuff that doesn't stretch. It's a little tight here, like here, right, just at the top of my arms. It's a little restrictive, which I find that a bit funny for plus size, just because most plus size girls have bigger arms. I feel like that it wasn't really thought of for a, you know what I mean? Like, 
a size 22 girl normally will have bigger arms and this is definitely very small in the arms for a 22 but I'm really liking everything else though I think that this is very cute this would look really nice and like even in winter you know with some stockings and boots or in summer with some sandals I think that this would be so nice and I mean it was five dollars like seriously I like how it's longer at the back too than the front I feel like that if it was the same length at the back I would be kind of a bit conscious about you know how short it was but I think it's a very very good length on the front and then I really like the, the length at the back as well I think that this is actually such a good item for five dollars but um like I said I just think that the I feel like that this is one of those items that was the template was for a straight size and then they just kind of made it bigger but they didn't think about things like girls who are plus size have bigger arms they're a bit broader they've got bigger boobs things like that you know what i mean so i think that the actual dress is good it fits there's heaps of room in it and it's nice and flowy and everything it's not tight on the buttons or anything but the arms are just like a bit small Five dollars, whatever. Um. Anyway, next, let's put on this shirt. This was also from the plus size range. It was twenty four ninety nine, and it's another button up. But it's got this kind of like ribbed, but not ribbed effect. I got it in a twenty two as well, and yeah, it's just like a basic like button up. It's super soft, super like flowy. I love wearing these tied up with jeans and stuff. Um, so let's try it on. Like same problem as before. This, but this is worse. These arms are so tight, like so tight. And I feel like that these buttons are just, oh, this is bad. Like this is really bad. Like, this is a 22. On top, I brought a 22 just because I, was, I wasn't sure. And so I size up. In something like this, in a plus size, I should be a 18 to a 20, not a 22. A 22 should be a bit oversized on me. And this is a 22 and I probably would have to size up to a 24 or 26. Like this is not good H&M. This is really not good. Like this is one of those, another one of those items that it was probably made for a straight size and they just made the sizing bigger. They didn't think about how a straight size girl and a plus size girl, our proportions are very different. We've got bigger arms, we've got, you know, more belly, we've got all that kind of stuff. They didn't compromise for it. Like this, I can't even show you is that bad. Like, it's just, this is so bad. This is so bad. I hate this. This needs to go. This needs to go right now. Um, Let's try on some shorts. So these are, let's start with the, the, this is all the straight size stuff now. So in the straight size, I found that like everything was like extra small, small or medium. There was barely any larges, barely any extra larges. I literally went through the whole store trying to find 16s or extra larges. And what I've got here is literally the only stuff they had. Um, pants, no, it was not fun. Um, but I found these like kind of booty shorts, you know, they're just cotton, basic, like everyday lounge shorts. 
Um, these are in an extra large and they were $14.99. So that's actually not too bad for a pair of shorts. I mean, I think that the pricing is very good at H&M. I just think that it's definitely one of those places that needs to work on their quality and their, like, just their, like, style. You know what I mean? Like, plus size stuff is not amazing. The sizing's very, like, all over the place. Um, but once again, if you want me to do a plus size H&M haul so I can full give you the rundown on all different types of styles and stuff like that in the plus size range, let me know and I will do that. Um, but anyway, let's try these on. And I will also try on another top. Uh, which one? We'll try on this one. So this is another basic. Um, it was $12.99. Again, extra large. And it's just like a basic kind of crop top. And then it's got like a knot in the front. Which I think that this is so cute. I love this. So um, we'll try these both on together and then we'll suss it out. Okay. So I'm not mad. I'm definitely not mad. Like, considering that these are both, this is how you gotta think, is that considering that these are straight size, they're not for a super chunky girl, I'm not mad at these. This top, I actually really like this top. I think that it is so cute and it fits really well. Like, it's not too tight in the arms, it's not too short. I, I really like this. I definitely will be keeping this. I'll probably be buying a few more of these. Um, I really, really like them. These shorts, I'm, like, I'm not mad at these either. Like these aren't that bad. Yes, they're a little bit, you know, they're a little bit tight or whatever, but they're not insane. Like I still have room in them. I still have room in the leg. Like they're not bad. They're really, really not bad at all. I am, um, obviously, I think that you can probably buy better lounge shorts like this in a plus size. I actually think that the H&M plus size had ones like these. But I think they had them in grey, which I don't do, I don't like grey. But, um, I mean, you know, they're not too bad. I feel like if, you know, if you were a bigger girl, but you had smaller legs maybe if you were like in more of an apple shape and you had a smaller bum and a smaller smaller thighs and stuff I think that these shorts would actually be fine they'd be really good it's more just it's they're just a bit like not they're not even tight but they're just a bit more form fitting around my thighs which you know if I was going to if I wanted to wear these comfortably, obviously I'd want them to be a bit more flowy, a bit more comfortable. But um, I'm definitely not mad at them. Like they're really not that bad. Anyway, what can we do? Let's try on another top. I got this. Now, I honestly, I didn't even want this it was only because it was just so hard to find extra larges in store seriously but I thought maybe this might be some of um, your type of clothing it's just it's a bit girly for me um, so it was $14.99 again extra large it's like this really pale pink and it's a little crop top and then it's got the ties it's got like a little lining if you can see through. It's got like a little bra lining. I mean, it's not too bad, but I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll change my mind. But um, yeah, let's try this one on now. Um, okay. Look, it's not. It's not that bad. It's really not. I I don't mind it. I think it's the color. I don't really wear a lot of pink but um it's really not bad it fits really well it's comfortable like it's not restricting at all i think for you know how much was this like 15 dollars 
Yeah, I mean, like, for 15 bucks, like, this is pretty good. Like, it's a good length, too. It's kind of cropped, but a bit longer. It sits about my belly button, which is here. So, I'm really not too mad at it, actually. This isn't that bad. Like, $15. I think that this is the thing that I'm finding, is that their basic stuff, and this stuff that stretches and things like that is actually really good. Like, and it's cheap. I think that I would, I'd probably go back again to H&M and I would buy basics like t-shirts and, you know, just loungewear stuff. And then like stuff like this that in summer you can kind of just chuck it on and it's only $15. And, you know, I think that that is probably best. I think that if you're looking for more, like, I don't know, formal wear or work wear or something a little bit higher quality, probably not H&M because I feel like that it's a little bit all over the place with sizing and stuff and... I mean, I feel like you can get better quality elsewhere for around the same price. Um, but anyway, we've got one more clothing item. This is a size 16. The only 16 I saw in the store. Uh, from the straight size again, it was $24.99. And it's this t-shirt dress. And it just says NASA on it. So, let's see, I'm scared. Okay, well this actually fits and it's a 16. I'm so confused and it's not that tight. Like obviously it's a little bit form fitting, but it's not clinging to anything and there's heaps of room in it and like I feel so comfortable in this. I'm, Really not mad at this. This is kind of cute. Yeah, I really like this. I think that this is this is what I mean, and this is why I do what will fit. Because I mean, if I was walking into H and M and I saw a size sixteen, I saw this dress sixteen, I would have looked at it and been like, not a chance, not a chance. No way is a sixteen gonna fit me. But that's where you know, like. You never know. You need to try things on to, to see. And like this, like this is a 16. In something, a t-shirt dress like this, I would probably be about an 18 or 20. And this is a 16 and it fits me just as well. And it's not too short. It's really comfortable. Like this is very, very comfortable. The quality obviously isn't the best. I would compare it to mm, Supre. I would probably compare it to Supre. Um, but I mean, similar pricing. It's just, you know, it's not the best quality, but I mean, you pay for what you get. Like, you know, whatever. But um, that was everything. It wasn't too bad. I think we kind of had some hits, some misses, eh, eh, eh. but um, I'm pretty happy with this whole thing. You know, if you want me to do a plus size H&M haul, I'm more than happy to do that. You guys just let me know if you want to see that. Um, and then we can go over the sizing a bit more thorough with their plus size range. And I can tell you like what stores it's at and things like that. But um, yeah, I... I would probably go back to H&M in the straight size section and actually find some things. I, I really like this stuff. I think that you just need to know your materials. You need to try stuff on, things like that. Because obviously, because it's not the best quality, it's not going to, it might be a little bit hit or miss. Same sizing, but it might, one thing might fit, one thing might not. Um, anyway, make sure again, subscribe, like, comment, all of that, and I will see you next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.